I am out of town at a wedding and I get an email from Anthony Diorio of Jack's Wallet saying that he has got to talk to me. So coffee making be damned, traffic and music be damned, here I am. So Anthony Diorio, a man who needs little introduction. Uh, but for anyone who doesn't know, you are the founder and CEO of Jack's Wallet, and you've contacted me to let me know that there is something that the Dash community might want to know about that's effective as of now. What would that be? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I'd uh, let you know that uh, just this morning we've released the Dash iOS version of Jack's for the second time now, and it's been a process that we've been trying to get approved through the App Store uh, for the last many months. And we had initially gotten it approved in, I think it was in September, but were promptly asked to take it down by the App Store as it wasn't an approved coin on, on their platform. So uh, I'm happy to announce that it's back on the App Store again after getting approved. And I think uh, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of Dash fans really happy about that. So for anybody who already has the Jax wallet, uh, what is the process to get Dash? Is it just as simple as, you know, update now or how does that work? Yeah, you would upgrade, update your, your iOS version. I think it's 1.2.6, I believe. Yeah, I think Zcash was 1.2.5. Now Dash is 1.2.6. And if you go to the menu and click under wallets and check mark your Dash, you now have access to your Dash uh, using the same 12-word backup phrase, just like any of the other devices that we support, and your Dash will be available. And if you have any other balances in there from when you had Dash previously in iOS, those balances would also show up now in this, and uh, you'd be just like using any, any of our other nine or eight platforms that we support. So you tell me that Dash is now an approved uh, cryptocurrency in the iOS App Store. Who did you have to sell a kidney to to get that, or donate a kidney to rather, to get that uh, done? So, so here's the backstory. Um, we were the first wall to get Ethereum listed. We were the first wall to get Classic listed on the App Store, and I had a really good relationship with a couple of the Apple. Um, like when when you when you develop apps, uh, they give you almost a representative or someone that you can communicate with, and I had been in in constant communication with this person. In fact, when a new coin would be added even by another wallet, he would call me up and say, hey, good news, this this new, this one's been added. And it's like, okay, great, because he was keeping me up to date. And I would actually announce to the community that, hey, this, this new token's been accepted on the App Store. So not only did we bring in some like Ethereum, uh, Ethereum Classic, um, now Zcash as well, but when we submitted Dash to the store, uh, it got approved the first time. And then uh, they asked us to take it down. And after that, um, they went dark. I haven't had any communication with Apple since back then. It seems almost like they were maybe given a directive not to talk to anybody anymore because I had such a great relationship and then my contacts went dark, never heard from them again. And there was another wallet that went on the, went on the App Store. It, I forget what it was called, but it was a Dash wallet. I don't think it's there anymore. And I contacted them saying, hey, how come this one's okay and ours isn't? Can you give me some clarification? And I never heard back from them. And I finally said, well, OK, well, I'm just going to try to submit a new one. Maybe it's changed because they don't ever give you a list of coins. The only way you find out what is accepted is if you try to apply for one and they approve it. So what we did a few months ago was we, uh, we tried to get another version of Dash up and it got approved. However, I didn't want to release it on iOS because we had had some issues, some memory issues with iOS that I decided not to add any more uh, coins to the app until we redid our infrastructure. So over the last many months, we've been redoing our infrastructure to the point that we felt comfortable putting more uh, coins back on iOS or getting more approved. So we released our newest version 1.2 of, of, of Jax. Once that got approved, we then tried to get Zcash to test the waters to see what they would say with Zcash. That got approved. We then resubmitted Dash again, and that's approved. So what we did is, is we made very clear in our app, because they have a review process, we made it very clear saying, Dash is being added in this version. Like that was the only change in this version, adding Dash. We wanted to make sure that we weren't trying to sneak something in or they would try to sneak it under their radar. We wanted to make it very obvious. And that's what we did, waited two days and the approval came back. So either two things have happened. They've approved it now and they've changed their mind on Dash or it slipped through a process again and 
it's not approved and maybe they ask us to take it down in, in a bit but either way they wouldn't respond back to me and i said well if you're not going to respond then i'm just going to try to get it approved again and if you let it go through it goes through we made sure very visible didn't want to be sneaky about it it got approved and it's now ready for us to hit launch and in fact we just hit launch so it should be available and rolling out uh, now for a lot of people it might take a little bit to get uh, to disseminate but it's ready to go and we couldn't be more happy because uh, um, it's one of those you know those wins again but we'll also see what happens i can't promise it's going to stay up but i'm hoping they change their mind on dash and i'm hoping the the great you know the, the growth of dash uh, recently has led them to know that this is something that's going to be sticking around. It's something that has a great community. It's something that's offering great technology and there's no reason why it shouldn't be in the App Store. So if if the worst happens, the unimaginable, if, if Apple claims again, hey, you snuck in Dash without our noticing, uh, and they say take it out of out of the App Store. How how will you respond and or what will you do going forward? Well, my response would say if they snuck it in would be that that's not true. Um, we didn't sneak it in. I want to be very I want to be very clear with my team and with everybody that we did not sneak it in. This it was very clearly labeled in our app right now, and they they have algorithms that look for certain things in in their app, such as if you have Android mentioned anywhere, they do not approve it. Uh, and it makes it really tricky for iOS because we have to change because we're on nine platforms. We need literally have to only for iOS do extra work to a get it approved, b make sure that it's got all the compliance and everything. We can't mention certain things in there. So they should easily see Dash in there because it's listed right in the description on the store as well now. So either they they're missing it and that's there on them. Also, there's no approved coin list. It, it gets changed, it gets people, it, it, um, coins get added to the list and they never say or come out and say, here's where the approved coins. So we'll never know whether a coin is approved until it's actually applied for and it gets approved. And because of that, it's not like we're following a list and it doesn't have Dash on it and we say, well, we're going to try to get Dash in anyway. You always have to test the waters in order to get a new coin approved. That's how we've done all the other ones. I mean, heck, we got DAO in there and the, I don't know what their process is for selecting tokens, but the DAO actually got approved. So there's there's really no clarification and every time we can test the waters, hopefully we're going to get a response from them in some way or another. But either way, we don't think that we've been sneaky in any way. It's been approved. Uh, if, they're, if they if they let it slip by, then they can let us know that, you know what, it's still not approved and we got and then we'll see what we have to do about it then. But in general, I think it's a big win for Dash. It at least gets attention to the whole thing as well, especially with iOS. And I think if they do take it down again, the communities get bigger and bigger and there's going to be more pushback and things like that. So I'm hoping it's, this will be the last that we hear about and we can kind of focus on bigger and better things. Well, just one final question for you, Anthony. Uh, if there seems to be sufficient demand for it, do you see the Jax team um, seeking to implement instant send for Dash in the future, you know, what, with or without treasury funding, for example? Is it something that you would like to do? Definitely. Our focus right now is being a multi-currency, multi-platform blockchain interface. So our goal is to provide that, that browser for blockchain that takes all these really good technologies and puts them in a, in a place where people, the masses, can actually have an interface that is very usable. Right now, our focus is on token implementation. It's not on specific features for each individual token. We want to have a, a, an easy, safe way for people to manage their keys, to be able to send and receive, transfer between different currencies, different tokens. And as, a, as another step down the road, we'll be looking for very specific features within the technologies that we're supporting to implement. And definitely instant pay would be right on the top of our list or very close to the top of our list. Uh, we would love to be able to, to put that in there. But for now, our focus is getting some more um, some more coins in the wallet, some other, uh, making sure our infrastructure is ready to scale. It's one of the other issues that we had. Uh, so the only way that we can actually, that we test our, our growth right now is, is through Shapeshift payouts. So we offer Shapeshift in our wallet that enables you to, to switch back and forth between tokens. And we did about $15 million in transactions last month, which was up from about $3 million the month before. And when we have that much, that much growth and that many more users getting into Dash and Zcash, there was a lot of, a lot of Dash and Zcash growth, growth last month. It really taxed our servers. And we just, we're not in a scaling mode right now even. We're more in infrastructure, making th sure things are working more on the back end. 
we're really not looking for new users right now. And that really, really put a tax on us last month. And this is why we had some issues. So we are adding uh, more strength to our back ends. That's really where our focus is right now. So new specific features for tokens is really not something that we're going to focus on for a while, but it would definitely come down the road. I see. That is, that's interesting that you can gauge your growth by how many shapeshift transactions were done through Jax. I never even thought it, about it, that. It is, especially since we don't, we don't collect any user information at this time. So we don't even know, we, don't, we never know when a new wallet's created. We never ask for any type of personal information, including email addresses. We don't track any, any uh, transaction data from our users by sending, receiving into their wallets. We've got no clue. They've got the keys. We provide an interface that blockchain manages or stores the assets. We're just a go-between. Now, we are going to start collecting anonymous data soon so that we can provide better features and see um, we're in the dark a lot. So when, when, a, when a customer has an issue, uh, it, it's not good that we have to wait for them to let us know. We, we have to start collecting data. We have to start collecting anonymous data and start seeing where the issues are. And it's just a matter of time and resources is what we need to really get better infra better uh, analytics, better uh, views and dashboards of exactly what's going on in our wallet. But it will involve collecting anonymous data from our users so we can make better choices and decisions and be able to be more proactive uh, when issues do arise rather than waiting for information to come in from our users. So it, there's always that balance in everything and, and we're going to have to have a bit of trade off by collecting information. But again, it will be completely anonymous and there'll be no way to track it back to users. Well, thank you for your time today, Anthony. And so long story short, TLDR, for anybody who didn't get the message already, Dash is now on the Apple App Store. All you need to do is click the update button. And if you ever had any dash on there before, uh, that that will reappear if you have not moved it. As long as it's the same wallet. Yeah. As long as it's the same wallet. Very good. Well said. All right. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Amanda. Fingers crossed. Bye.